with your reading here. Like you could just like, you could owe like $10,000 in taxes, in back taxes on your, to the city. And you could say, you know, and, and your property is just some dump or whatever. And you, and you still want taxes on that, that. You're still, you're, you're, a, you're still, a yes, because it might, you, it might she be, lived. it might be worth and it's total nothing, dump. but the tax value is still 26 but grand because on you it. owe it, you own it, we still want some money on that, you know. Yeah. Because we actually technically want to own a little piece of your dog with you. Of your dog with you. <laughs> so, you're. We have to send cops to your dog. So you there are still dog. services and <laughs> utilities and you know city services that people are getting. Yeah. So if you have trash from your dog, from and your she dog, she wants to send to another dog. They're <laughs> cutting. They're, they're cutting down trees that are growing into the street and stuff. We actually have to cut that every so really. But anyway, you want to sell your dog house, <laughs> and you know somebody. So so somebody who wants to buy your dog, like, I don't know, me, and I'm like, listen, I, I, do you want to just sign over? And they're like, well, not, nah, because I still want to get some cash for it, even though it's a Even though it's a dog. Even though, yeah, and I'm like, all right, look. And you're upside down over taxes. Yeah, and you may or may not have a mortgage on it. We're, that's still to be determined because you say you don't, but the lender, if you trust, <laughs> beneficiary says, oh, okay, you do. So... If you're not going to tax us, why would well, you but, I mean, that? whatever. It's why? like, a, who's going to foreclose on me first? I mean, you know. <laughs> it's just, who's going to, does it, does it matter? Yeah. Can you, yeah. And, and I also administratively dissolved the LLC that is the name of yeah. that, the property. So you can't even, you know, attach, yeah. you know, garnishments to any of my bank accounts or anything like that or from me. So, you know, that's awesome. So anyway, you want to, so I'm going to buy your dump house and be like, okay, I'm going to get your, I get like, listen, dude, fine. You want to get some cash out of it just because you're like that? I need hundred dollars. All right. <laughs> so, me and dude, it's a good night at me, me, you know, <laughs> yeah. with your whole family now. Yeah. I mean, all of you can oh, have twenty six ninety nine steak and shrimp dinner well, that's for three like, of you plus a drink or two. Yeah. And and tip. So yeah. for a blue Hawaiian. A blue, a yes, or, and maybe it, yeah. maybe a two roll or or two because your dollar you is like to be weird. You ain't tipping for a hundred dollars. No, you're not. Actually, you're not getting anything right now because you can't go. Well, you, you can't, can't go. No, you, you could get you a take out. out. You can get takeout. They're saying you should still tip on the takeout. I do. I would because you know, I mean like I do. That's someone who normally they'd be waiting tables. Now they're hauling out to your car and they're not making any money. I know. Well, every job I've ever had my whole life has been a tipping job. You know, and so like that's I said, true. hey, what? Anyway, um, huh? You saying hi to RC? Hi. So, I mean, don't matter, matter whatever. Matter. Um, Damn. so if you're <laughs> you're <laughs> you feel like going out for an night at Ichiban because there's we're, we're we're this is pre-coronavirus quarantine. Okay, we're, right, go, we're free. We're free. We're gonna go out and we're like, you know what? For my dump house. Yeah, I mean, I'll just sign it over because I'm tired of waiting on somebody to foreclose on me. Um, so, so all right, I give you hundred dollars for my house, and me and you know, administratively dissolved LLC will sign a an agreement, and we can just sign something over. Now we're gonna get a lawyer to draw us up a deed, and he he'll be like, all right, I'm gonna draw it up. And then we'll have somebody else do our little closing where we show up and I like you know hand over my hundred dollars in a certified bank funds or something. And, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and so then when the attorney takes it to record, he's got you know we have you know on the HUD you know purchase price one hundred dollars and you know minus fees or what whatever. And uh, so he goes to record the deed. And when he goes to do that, he puts his little lawyer stamp on there that says. Proceeds, if taxes will be paid by proceeds of this sale. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Keyword there being proceeds of the sale. Being what? Proceeds of the sale. Proceeds. Well, there's $100. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you owe $10,000 in taxes. So is there going to be enough proceeds to pay those taxes? No. No. So I just had a deed transfer done and no taxes were paid. And now they're still due. Now, they're now. Even though I didn't accrue them, they're legally my responsibilities. That's the way law works. But I still got the house, and being as how nobody's gonna pay. Oh yeah, now now you know, and we're, you know we're 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 assuming the the, the mortgage wasn't even. We're just talking about taxes right now. So right. now 
I own the house, and if I don't feel like paying or whatever, and nobody's going to come after me, you know? And unless things start getting assessed at a higher rate, my amount due, as long as I keep, like, I don't have any other fines or anything accrued because mm -hmm. I'm not mowing the lawn or whatever. Well, why would you mow the lawn? Why would you do that? I like snakes. I mean, you don't do like snakes. <laughs> you know, yeah, I like mosquitoes. They are just, you know, mosquitoes, mosquitoes mm -hmm. are the fruit of the life of birds. I mean, Zika. Yeah. So. Zika. It's like birth control. It is. <laughs> Oh, it is terrible. Yeah. 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 Um, actually, <laughs> um, <laughs> project on that one. Actually, <laughs> um, actually, there was no proceeds, and so, so yeah. So here's another thing that's you know, the the amount due that I owe being around ten thousand is is never going to go higher than that because. Yes, interest will accrue on the, on like, you know, every year it goes up. The interest will accrue, but as long as the uh, assessed value remains the same, and they don't reassess it as higher. You mean like if that, like they say the house is worth I don't know, five thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. And, and and all of a sudden next year they reassess the county reassesses and say oh now it's worth twenty thousand dollars. Well then your your bill will be higher, right? Your uh -huh. tax. But as long as that doesn't happen or it goes down, the amount due is, is the same every year. You yeah. know, like you owe what hundred dollars in taxes this year, Whatever. next year is hundred dollars. Now you will go, now that that one from this year and next year and last year and last year will get interest that you're not paying. Mm -hmm. You know, but after ten years, they can't enforce the collection of those taxes. So, so once your bill, which is like the owed taxes plus interest, yeah, once so, that reaches ten thousand dollars, no, no, ten years old. Ten years. Yeah, I'm saying ten thousand dollars just because we've already established with this, uh, okay, with okay, this okay, okay. somewhat hypothetical but not really hypothetical case of a house that owes ten thousand dollars taxes. Um, so, so once it's ten years old, you you cannot collect. They the law won't. The them. law says you cannot enforce collection past ten years. So let's say that ten year old bill is now like you know fifteen hundred dollars because of oh, uh -huh. you know whatever. Well. After it becomes in the eleventh year, you know, like it just drops off. Like there, there's no point even keeping the record. I mean, they might, but you know, because they can't enforce it. So they can't. They so can't then, collect it. No. So then the nine year old bill now becomes ten years old. You know, and it has and it that stays much, the same. It stays the same because it's it always it started right. out with that initial. And now, unless they start charging different fees and interest or whatever, or compound, it would go up. Yeah. But, okay. But, but so. He, so so why like so that? if you can hold out for ten years, administratively resolved never, LLC it, dude cannot rake up any more debt on this house. It will not get worse because it just drops up unless it starts getting assessed higher. So what's he, who and who really knows how long or what when he stopped paying? Oh yeah, he, he could have never paid. He could have never paid. And the person before him never paid. Well, no, because well, I mean, I well, yeah, that, that no, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it could have, yeah, could have. I mean, in this specific case, it didn't because there was a a, a deed transfer where they they were paid. Because, but, but but one lawyer to one lawyer side, and there's no. I mean, you know, like it could be that there was no, you know, could be. And the value is so like, are we really gonna go after this one property for ten thousand dollars? Every every case has to be processed individually. You know, there there needs to be some sort of streamlined effort where you can just sweepingly foreclose them like a ton at a time or whatever. But then what do you do with them? But anyway, that's what fills my days. So, and then some people who do this, they don't pay taxes on it, and they rent out and collect rents. You know, and if maybe they feel like people are breathing down their neck, they're just gonna you know, administratively dissolve the LLC and start a new one and change the name into something else or whatever, and then that starts a whole new case. You know, new ownership. So it starts over the process of notification and whatever. You know, so it's not Tommy and Gina's rentals. It's now it's Gina, Gina and Tommy's, Tommy's rentals. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. It's different. Same property. Yeah. Same people, but just different. Ooh. People are smart. People don't want to pay. They get really good at not paying. You put a lot of effort in not paying. 
Yeah. If you would take that that kind of like knowledge or whatever and just put it into, I don't know, like, you know, running a business or something that's like, you know, not corrupt at all. But, no, you know, yeah. <clears throat> using all your like talents for good instead of evil. Yeah, what the fun of that? <laughs> <laughs>